Good morning, everyone. I am Patty Elhoff. I am the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And I'm going to show you today how we can decoupage over a clear glass vase. We're going to use napkins, and you can do this with any size vase that you want. And I am using I'm trying to go for an all white theme today, or at least mostly white, white roses. And so for today's project, what we're going to need are napkins. You'll probably only need one. We'll need some decoupage glue, a brush for that, iridescent medium. It's iridescent pearlescent. We'll need a brush for that. Triple thick top coat and a brush for that. I'm going to be using some glitter, very, very fine glitter. Plastic wrap. And a very fine mist of water. Very fine mist and a couple of nail files. These are designated strictly for my decoupage project. And the first thing we'll want to do is to split the napkin. It's a three-ply. This one is a three-ply napkin. Most of them are three-ply. Some of them are two. The best way to do that is to dampen your fingers press on it and then you see as you pull apart it pulls the napkin away from the backing because we just want this one sheer front piece. Once you've separated your napkin so that it's just the one ply and I'm using the whole napkin, tear a couple of sheets of the saran wrap, and this should always be the cheapest stuff you can buy for, for this purpose. Lay it down and overlap two pieces side by side. You want to make it as long as your napkin. So if you could see the top and the base here, it's just about as long as, or about a little longer. The saran wrap's a little longer than the napkin. Then Lay the napkin face down. You want the print facing down. Now some napkins you can't do this with. If you have a napkin that has a print like this, you wouldn't be able to do this because your Eiffel Towers would be upside down facing each other. It wouldn't look right. Some of these floral napkins, though, you can do this with. This is one of those. It will look just fine. And you lay the napkin face down over the saran wrap. Take your decoupage glue and lightly on one section apply the glue. And this will only work, this particular process will only work on these cylindrical <laughs> glass vases. And once you've got that decoupage glued down, we're going to lay the part that you just decoupaged, the edge of it at the edge of your napkin. Don't worry if you tore your napkin a little bit in spots because we can fix that when we're done. So lay the cylinder down. The edge of my glue is right here. The edge of the napkin is right here. I want to lay it down so that it fits. Fits on there, okay. I'm just going to roll it a little bit so that the glue brush. I'm 
was sticking. You can add a little more glue if you didn't quite reach the right area with the napkin. So the glue is down and here's the beauty of the saran wrap. Rather than using your finger on the napkin which will surely tear it, you use your finger on the saran wrap over the napkin for areas like that. See there's a little spot there. But even right here it was torn. It's okay. I'm just covering that up for now and if later we see that there's a problem we'll fix it. But take a little more decoupage glue, add it to another section of the vase. Roll that. And I'm reaching under the saran wrap. press any areas down. Make sure everything's sticking. And we'll follow this procedure for the next two steps. I'm sorry. We'll follow this procedure here and here and I'll speed that up for you. Now the whole thing is done. You'll have a little overlapping there which is fine. You just want to make sure you have all of the glass covered and that you're handling this with the saran wrap so that your fingers aren't tearing anything, aren't pulling anything away. Going to let this dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll come right back and do the next step. You don't have to do anything else right yet. Just make sure that the napkin is down everywhere, sticking to the glass, okay? Now the glass vase is dry, or the napkin is dry on the glass vase. And this piece that's overlapping, you can take your spray, and you do want to make sure it's overlapping here so there's no glass showing. But just spritz a light amount of water over the end where you overlapped and then you can see it pulls off quite easily. Now on this next step, I took the iridescent medium and I poured a little bit of it into my decoupage glue and you mix a little bit of it in with that's decoupage glue that I poured into a plate and I would say maybe one part of this to the decoupage glue and that's just to give it a slight bit of iridescence and pearlescence whether you use the iridescent medium or not we're going to add decoupage glue and this is mine with the iridescence in there and you may be able to see a little bit of it as I'm doing this. So carefully and in one direction add a coat, one coat of decoupage glue over your cylinder. So let it dry and we'll come right back and do the next step. If you have any areas like this where you can see the napkin either pulled away or you didn't overlap it enough, it's okay during this second coat to just add, tear a little piece of the same napkin pattern that you're using and put it right over those pieces. So I'm just adding a little bit of the decoupage glue right here. 
I'm going to lay a torn piece of the napkin down. Little spritz. And I'm going to take a little bit of the saran wrap so that I'm not touching it with my fingers. And I'm just going to blot that down. So it covers up whatever we missed before. And just be careful as you're adding this final coat of decoupage glue that you don't go over that one section where you just put this image, okay? And I'll just continue gently around the rest of the vase. And the last touches to the vase, you can take the nail file and go all around the top and the bottom edges, file in one direction, and you see how that comes right off and leaves a nice clean edge. And we'll just apply a top coat and I'm going with a very glossy top coat that's actually going to draw this pattern out a little bit because you can see it doesn't show up very well. So as you add your top coat on, if you want to apply glitter, I'm going to put a light smattering of it on there. I would suggest you just do it in sections. I have a piece of wax paper down to catch the glitter. And for now, let me just say thank you so much for subscribing and making comments. You really make my day. Thank you so much. And I will be back when this is dry and ready to show you. So here is our completed rose vase. I had to move into another room of the house. <laughs> Too much going on downstairs. And got a nice sheer finish to it. This will look nice with a candle in it. And I don't know if you can see the glitter that well. You can see it as I turn. And this is the Halloween vase that I'll be working on. This looks much better with the dark. Let's see if I can get it dark in here so you can see how this looks. You can see that a little better. We'll be working on this in another week or so. So thanks again, guys. I hope you had fun. Please contact me if you've got any questions. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next week, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.